Hi guys, today is September 14th, and everything in this shot is beige. I apologize about that. I will endeavor not to wear beige in the future. Um, so, like I've been promising, I want to talk today about the Women's Equality Party strategy for the upcoming general election, which everyone knows is coming but doesn't know when. Um, our strategy is, of course, that we are running five domestic abuse survivors against five people that have, um, histories of violence. As a statement to say that we, as the Women's Equality Party, and as just people, citizens, don't tolerate having abusive people in our government, which might actually limit our government in a lot of very big ways if we really push for that. Now, as you know, I'm currently the spokesperson for the Women's Equality Party for the key issue of equality in the media. That's my remit. That's my specialty. And for me, media, be it journalism, be it film, be it art, is about narrative and storytelling. And the reason why it is so spectacular that we are running five domestic abuse survivors this year in this general election is twofold. First of all, um, violence is not inevitable. Violence, period, is not inevitable. Violence against women is not inevitable. What makes it inevitable is, as we've seen this week with the convention rates for domestic violence, when women, when men who have the power um, make decisions that affect women's lives. And that sends the message that violence, in this case violence against women and girls, but violence as a whole doesn't matter because you can get away with it because the support stretches out there, because abuse doesn't have any long-term effect, either for you or the victim. And so when the Women's Equality Party stands against the MPs with unresolved abuse allegations, this is huge. This is us saying, okay, the system might not hold you account, but we will as a party. And we'll bring it up again and again and again, because if you think abuse is okay, you should not be the one holding the power. Now, the second issue that is key this week with the provoking of Parliament is that the domestic abuse bill has been dropped. This is something that charities have begged to be passed. It would allow for more um, protection for women, it would protect survivors of domestic abuse. And it was reported that um, protecting survivors of domestic abuse was a priority for this government. The UK has 
massive domestic abuse statistics. It would allow the UK government to ratify finally three years on the Istanbul Convention, which is a international treaty that so many countries have signed on for that actively protects women and girls from violence. It would create a statutory government definition of what domestic abuse is. It would include economic abuse. It would include coercive control. It would be Define abuse that is still icky and not really defined legally so that women can go, that's what happened to me and that is wrong. Again, reshaping the narrative. And when Parliament decided to, well, Parliament didn't decide, Boris Johnson decided to provoke a parliament. That got dropped. It got completely pushed aside. And it just is at like, it's not going to happen. Now, a government spokesperson can confirm that the government is committed to legislating support for victims of domestic abuse. But to send a red light like this, it is again just kicking the can further down the road with this government. This Istanbul Convention had a green light Three years ago, and we haven't done anything because we've been focusing on Brexit. And a lot of good that did us. We still don't know what Brexit means. Um, Jess Phillips has gone on record. Jess Phillips is a MP, brilliant MP, gone on record that said, as saying that well-informed people have said the government was considering dropping the bill entirely. So this isn't just kicking it down the road, it's kicking it off the road. And again, because we don't talk about these issues, because we don't have definitions for abuse that is happening because the narrative is abuse happens even by people in power. Um, I am dumbstruck in case you can't tell, but I also just believe that it will be forgotten about thanks to Brexit. Because, let's be honest, Boris Johnson abuses women. Why did he want to see this government pass this bill, given what happened at the end of summer with him and his partner? We have to do better in the fact that the Women's Equality Party is planning to run five women who are survivors of violence really showed again that we have the power as a party to change the narrative and to say you are not defined by the abuse that happened to you. You are not defined by how other people see you. You can have a history of violence and abuse and having people treat you badly and 
still challenge those in power. And that is the narrative that we need to have right now in a government that is out of control. That's all I've got for you today, guys. Remember, you are loved, you are precious, and all of you, no matter what you've been through, contain multitudes. Bye.